California's record-breaking 2020 fire season has now become a fire year. The Bond Fire exploded overnight in Southern California, a rare sight this close to winter. And this can all be tied to one factor, many people say, climate change. ABC's Kaylee Hartung has more. More than 8 million acres have gone up in flames in 2020, breaking records, making this year's devastation historic before it's even over. Last month, multiple fires in Southern California exploded, fueled by hurricane force Santa Ana winds. Until these winds die down, this fire is unstoppable. While in Colorado, it took a snowstorm to slow down the largest fire in the state's recorded history. We plan for the worst. This is the worst of the worst of the worst. In the last few years, the worst has become the new normal. ABC News has been on the front lines. Intense flames have already destroyed a home. Authorities are trying to put this fire out right now. You can see that The intensity of that is absolutely enormous. The heat is overwhelming. This is the kind of terrain they're dealing with. And what they're doing right now is they're saying they're blackening the line. The fire is in the trees. The firefighters call this crowning. Over the last 20 years, we've seen things escalating in a way that we haven't previously. But we, we really don't have a fire season. We have a peak season and we have a fire year. These fires are growing larger, burning more intensely and moving quicker. Science explaining one reason climate change. It's a pretty strong link and that it's growing stronger over time. Specifically, the warming in places like California is drying out the vegetation to a greater extent than used to occur historically. A heat wave roasted California this summer. Death Valley rising to 130 degrees, possibly the highest temperature ever reliably recorded on Earth. California fire officials say there's no denying the effects. To anyone who's looking for evidence of, of climate change and its, its impact on our world, here it is. Absolutely. And, and I think you, you can find evidence of all of the impacts that humans are having on, on the, the landscape here in California. With over 51 million people living on the West Coast, more and more people are forced to build new homes in high fire danger zones. It makes the job of, of fighting fire uh, and living with wildfire more difficult because we are scattered so far across the landscape. There is no place in California that doesn't have some risk of wildfire. Earlier this year in the Berry Creek fire, one volunteer firefighter lost everything while he was battling the blaze. It's just devastating, it's heartbreaking, and I just... I'm at a loss. I just don't want to think about it too much because it just hurts too much. And following the deadly campfire last year, this family moved to Oregon, only to be impacted by fires there this year. Yeah. But it's what? Remember what we said, it's what? Replaceable, right? Yeah. Right, okay. For ABC News Live, Kaylee Hartung, Los Angeles. Replaceable, but still heartbreaking to see. Our thanks to Kaylee for that report. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.